Hello, this is Professor Stephen Ashben. I'm here to show you how to get a Born-Oppenheimer energy profile for a diatomic molecule. And what I'm going to do here is I've started off in the inorganic menu and chosen hydrogen. So uh, that's what we're going to start with. And uh, for starters, what you want to do is get a sense of how far apart uh, your reference point is. And that's about 0.724. And so we'll want to start a little bit tighter than that and go out a little bit farther than that. So uh, the next step is to go to this uh, this icon here, which is constrained distance. You can also get that from that pop-down menu, but I set up an icon. Once you are in constrained distance, you need to once again select the atoms that you want to do something with. And then I'm going to click on this. I want, to, I want a profile. So uh, for starters, I'm going to start off with something smaller than that. And, you know, it looks like 0.3 might be a good uh, value for H2. And maybe I want to go all the way out to 10 uh, there. And the number of steps, well, I could just let's get 100 steps. And, uh, and at this point, uh, we would say I just want to do a, not an equilibrium geometry, but an energy profile. Everything else seems good. I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And, uh, and that's... Uh, I'm just going to say that is something. Now, while it's running, you can monitor the progress with this little uh, monitor icon, which is um, tells you how far along it's got. Uh, in this case, it's only on step one. And, uh, you know, it might take uh, five or ten minutes, perhaps, on your on your computer. However, I've already got the, uh, the answer on this from a, a pre-calculated it. And uh, so I'm going to go to this and... Um, Let's see, uh, the, uh, there's, the, there's, there's this. Uh, what, will, what will show up for you is this icon here, and you can just play that, and it will tell you uh, what, uh, what range it's, it's gone uh, over. And uh, what's interesting to do, for example, is to say I want to look at the HOMO, and, uh, and you'll have to choose that uh, every step of the way that you want to look at it, which I've done here. And uh, so that does that, and so that's kind of interesting. The other thing that you'll want to do is go to this calculations uh, page, uh, the spreadsheet page, and go to add, and what you want is energy. Now, I've chosen kilojoules per mole, so you choose that, and now that fills that in. And then you go to this graphics icon and say, well, I want to see what that looks like. So I'm going to select that and create it. And uh, in this case, this is the graph that uh, it's created for me. And, um, and you can see that as a function of that distance, uh, the Born-Oppenheimer potential at a great distance doesn't change very much. Then it comes and reaches a minimum and uh, then goes back uh, up, probably due to the nuclear-nuclear uh, um, positive-positive repulsion. This, of course, you can, you, can, uh, you can save, you can print, you can take a screen capture. And, uh, and uh, what, one thing that you will want to do uh, when you start this off, though, is if you remember this, uh, uh, write down where you started it off, which in my case was about, I think, 0.3 angstroms, and then uh, I think I went out to 10, and that would have been the equilibrium value about 0.74. So